Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be giving out another umpire. So today we are going to be doing Argentina. I've had this one ready for a while. So let's go ahead and do it. With the first war on Uruguay, the capital of Montevideo is captured. And after pushing in a bit more, the country surrenders. And it's fully annexed by Argentina. Here we are going to be doing a pretty fast one. But if you'd like to see me make... A longer format one for this one? Sure, why not? Their next war is going to be a war against Paraguay. And as they begin to push into the south, the country really once again stands no chance. Argentina is the second most powerful country in South America, and one of the most in all of the Americas. <coughs> Paraguay and Uruguay are not even close to that. So yeah. There goes Paraguay. With Paraguay gone, Argentina goes ahead and declares war on Bolivia, which is actually going to start their first hard war as Peru joins in. <coughs> but Argentina is going to have an ally here, that ally being Colombia. With that, they both push into their respective countries, with Argentina pushing into Bolivia and Colombia beginning to push into Peru. Although, after it proving incredibly difficult to move through the rainforest, they go ahead and declare war on Ecuador as well. Just to make it easier to go to war with Peru, it's actually worth it to take care of the extra army. As if you didn't know, mountains all along here, they've got to push along the coast. They continue to do this over here in Colombia, and it goes very successfully as the capital is captured, Lima. The country is split into two, in one breakthrough through the mountains. And honestly, yeah, Peru isn't going to last much longer here as Ecuador also surrenders. And after pushing into Bolivia, Argentina begins their own pushing to Peru, leading to the surrender of all of these countries, seeing no point in continuing a war that they don't stand a chance at winning. Also, even went to a bit of Brazil here. Didn't mean to color that in. But yeah. Also, oh uh, yeah, I also am making a Peru Empire soon. I'm back to having way too many of them that I have to make and not enough time to make them, but they will all be coming out soon. So just let me know any particular empires you'd like to see. And I pretty much do any of them as long as they're not too like difficult, too small or too weak. But I can go pretty random, so yeah, just let me know. As for Peru, they're definitely weakened, to say the least. And Colombia officially makes an alliance with Argentina, which is basic which basically just states um, if Brazil attacks either of us, we attack Brazil in their favor. With that, Argentina is now expanded a very good amount and it's now the third strongest country in the Americas behind Brazil and the USA but counting their ally of Colombia well actually I'm pretty sure they'd still be in third but much closer to Brazil as oh look at that what a coincidence just while Argentina is making their empire Brazil starts to destabilize more on that a bit later but yeah just keep that in mind also sorry if you hear something in the background it's nothing I can do about it But yeah, with that, this new Argentine empire now has an ally and a whole lot more strength. Okay, yeah. With that, they now go ahead and declare war on Chile. Once again, they're, uh, no, actually, I'm pretty sure Peru and Bolivia are more difficult, but it's still gonna be somewhat of a challenge. As, honestly, they just begin to push in along the coast from the north, the fall of Santiago, and yeah, Chile just surrenders here. There's no point in fighting this new Argentina. Along with that, Argentina pushes troops into the, well, for them it's the Malvinas, for us it's the Falkland Islands. <coughs> but here they're going to be referred to as the Malvinas, I think, yeah, like that. As, now that Argentina controls them, they get to name them. 
We also see them annexing all of Chile, and they are now seen as a decently powerful world country. Like, not the most powerful, but hey, definitely powerful. A minor power, to say the least. With that, though, they now have allies, they now have friends, and... Oh, look at that, what a coincidence. They're in the middle of their empire while they're preparing for war with Brazil. A civil war starts in the country out of absolutely nowhere, with a lot of the north rising up because of a failed election. See? Yeah. What a coincidence. We also see Colombia joining in to help out their ally. And yeah, Argentine troops instantly begin to push into southern Brazil. As together with the rebellion, Brazil isn't going to last long here. The army can try and fight back, but the people are all in favor of this new government that the that the rebellion proposes. And Brazil has now fallen. So yeah, let's go ahead and draw in these new borders. Colombia gets a small amount of land along the border. As for Argentina, they get they get to basically split up um, Brazil into two, what they get and what the rebellion gets. With that though, they are now allied with what's left of Brazil. And it's just most of all of South America, except for Venezuela, is now either allied with Argentina, a puppet of Argentina. Oh, and the Guyanas, but they're, no offense, but kind of irrelevant, so not going to matter as much. So yeah, let's go ahead and draw in these final borders, and we can see what we got here. Very powerful Argentine empire. That's what we got. So yeah, first up, allied with Colombia, uh, allied with this new Brazilian government, and in and of themselves have a very powerful empire to show for all this new expansion. They control about half of the South American continent and are now the second strongest country in the Americas and a respected world power. Not a superpower, but a power. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.